hi there beautiful humans welcome to my channel today we'll be making something different we'll be making sukingari koli cassava flakes if you want to sound bougie it's very popular in nigeria and it's made from cassava my nigerian brothers and sisters will be wondering what's with their fees in sukingari again please just try it first before you come for me okay if you do it this way it has a pleasant nutty taste use whatever type of gari that you prefer white gari ijebu gari i like the yellow gari and that's what i have here ingredients will be in the description you need some milk powder cold water peanuts and any sweetener of choice honey zero calorie sweetener i'm using sugar today of course, you can substitute the milk powder with liquid milk. You then have to reduce the quantity of water you add. As you can see here, this is the yellow gari in its original form. We'll turn it to this, the final product. And this is what we'll be using for this asuki. Look at the difference in color. On low heat, put your pan or pot on fire and let it get hot. Next, put in the gari and continue to stir. Our aim here is to get this gari to fry a little bit until it's darker in color. Please don't let it burn then say that this tutorial is a fail. As fast as this can be made, it's also easy to burn. I don't know if other African countries make this, I would assume so, at least West Africa. Leave a comment and let me know what this is called in your country. If you're outside Africa and you like to try this, you can purchase gari from any African store and some major retailers carry this. If you're in the UK, you can check Asda or Morrison's. You should find it in the international food aisle. Keep frying this. You can see it slowly starting to change color and this literally takes few minutes to fry. I'm not going to give a specific time to fry, but just keep frying until it's brown enough. Don't add any oil, just dry fry it. If you even want it faster, you can fry on medium to high heat. Now let me interrupt for a few seconds. Please press the like button if you haven't done that already and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on your notifications for new uploads. You can check out some of my other videos. I make generic recipes, healthy recipes, and I give tips on how to lose weight and so much more. Just check out my channel. The work is done. Turn off the heat and allow it to cool. You'll put all the dry ingredients but the peanuts into your drinking bowl and mix. Let me give you a short history of this recipe. My sister discovered this recipe during the Lassa fever outbreak in Nigeria some years back. Then it was recommended to heat up your food to kill the virus or something like that. That was how this came to life. Now add some water, mix, mix, mix. You don't want to put too much water or too little water, just enough to cover the dry mix and a little more above that. And then add the peanuts. I prefer to keep it simple with just peanuts. However, I know some people enjoy this with coconuts, dry fish and so on. What do you like to have with this? Leave a comment. If you get to try this, let me know what you think of it. I'll see you next time. Bye.